LP-Link makes one of the best Wi-Fi routers and mesh systems in the world. And today we are going to review their latest Wi-Fi 7 mesh system called TeepLink Deco B95 B33000 Quad Band Wi-Fi 7 Mesh System. So in this review, we are going to do the Wi-Fi speed and coverage test and see either TP-Link produced a new king of Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems. So let's first do an unboxing and see its contents. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems comes with outstanding packaging. It comes with some quick start guides, power adapters for each unit, and an ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. It is a quad band Wi-Fi 7, 12 internal antennas, 16 streams, new MIMO, OFDMA, MLO, seamless AI roaming, 320 megahertz bandwidth, multi-RUS, 4K KM, wireless and wired backhaul, can connect over 200 devices, and has all the bells and whistles of the latest and greatest Wi-Fi 7 features. Now let's look at the ports. So we have a three unit setup and each unit has two 10 GBPs port. One is a 10 GBE and SFP plus combo port. So you can either use as 10 GBE or SFP plus, but not both at the same time. Two 2.5 gigabits per second port for both WAN and LAN with auto sensing. There is one USB 3.0 port, reset button, WPS button and power connection. It supports total 33 gigabits per second bandwidth and following is the breakdown. 1.6G supports 11,520 megabits per second. Second 6G also supports 11,520 megabits per second. 5G supports 8,640 megabits per second. And 2.4G supports 1,148 megabits per second. So the difference between the tri-band and quad-band Wi-Fi 7 router or mesh systems are tri-band uses the A single 6 gigahertz band entire frequency whereas quad band has to split 6 gigahertz band into two narrower bands, resulting capable of utilizing two 6 gigahertz channels simultaneously. And in this case, quad band's 1 6 gigahertz channel has been used as wireless backhaul for better performance, where tri band has to either sacrifice 6 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz channel to use as backhaul, unless in both cases you use wired backhaul option. Now let's do some performance, coverage, and speed tests. So we place the Wi-Fi 7 mesh system in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we are using Intel BE 200 Wi-Fi 7 card, which is the fastest Wi-Fi client card available in the market, and using a 10 gig Ethernet wired computer as an open speed test server, which is hosted locally to measure the performance of the Wi-Fi routers and mesh systems. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. We have tested connections in extreme corners in each floor of the house. Since Wi-Fi 7 mesh offers MLO capability, we conducted tests with MLO enabled and second tests with MLO disabled to compare them both and see if it makes any difference. If you are not familiar with MLO, it is a new capability offered by Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems or routers to use all three bands by default but you can turn the 2.4 gigahertz off to include only the five gigahertz and six gigahertz bands. It enabled Wi-Fi 7 clients to, to use two bands simultaneously send and receive data to increase the bandwidth. Also, Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 client card is capable of MLO. We also made sure we have AXEHT enabled in the Wi-Fi card configuration. Let's review the results. First location, which is within five feet from the main Wi-Fi, seven mesh unit in the basement, we achieve full 2.1, two gigabits per second for download and upload Wi-Fi speeds without MLO enabled and 2.36 gigabits per second for both upload and download with MLO enabled. So definitely MLO has better performance with close range test. So basically we are saturating the full 2.4 G Wi-Fi seven card speed from our open speed test server to the client. Excellent start. Next, we moved all the way to the left corner in the basement, and here we still achieved an average of 800 megabits per second for both upload and download without MLO enabled, and an impressive average 1122 megabits per second download and upload with MLO enabled. Next, on the main floor to the left side of the house, we achieved an 820 megabits per second download and upload speeds without MLO enabled, and 1044 megabits per second download and upload with MLO enabled. These are one of the best results we have achieved at this location of the house compared to our previous Wi-Fi 7 mesh units. Moving on to the right side, we achieved 985 megabits per second 
for download and upload without MLO enabled in 1,180 megabits per second. Download and upload with MLO enabled. Again, one of the best scores ever. Moving on to the first floor to the left side, we achieved 928 megabits per second. Download and upload without MLO enabled in 1,165 megabits per second. Download and upload with MLO enabled. Then we moved to the right side and achieved 1,024 megabits per second. Download and upload without MLO enabled and 1,089 megabits per second. Download and upload with MLO enabled. Again, these are the best score we have ever achieved at this location. So for the final test, we moved to garage and we achieved an impressive 865 megabits per second average without MLO enabled and 954 megabits per second average with MLO enabled. Again, these are the best results ever for this location as well. So what we learned from this performance review is that MLO is an excellent choice if you have devices with Wi-Fi 7 capabilities and dedicated 6G backhaul offers solid performance and latency. In the next test, we are using 10 GBE NAS connected to 10 GBE network port of the Wi-Fi 7 main mesh unit and using Wi-Fi 7 card-based laptop we were able to achieve full 2.4 gig wireless transfer speeds. And using 10 gigabit ethernet client, we were able to transfer five gigabyte file with 800 megabits per second. Average speeds, really impressive results. Now let's talk about setting up TP-Link Wi-Fi. Seven mesh system, setup was a very easy three-step process. All you have to do is download the TP-Link app to your Android or iOS device, connect your router to your modem, or if you have FIOS with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to your Ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup. There are a lot of settings available to configure using the TP-Link's Deco app and makes managing Wi-Fi 7 mesh system quite easy with lots of great options to control the mesh system along very capable parental controls to control each device in the network. Main page of the app shows you Wi-Fi settings guest network then you have the complete internet to mesh units topology and it shows everything looks good and connections between mesh units are strong also it shows the number of devices connected to each unit as you can see the numbers on each unit also real-time upload and download bandwidth is being utilized number of one clients tp link offers great parental controls and other great security features and reports to have better control over your wi-fi Advanced Wi-Fi settings allows you to configure 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz networks with different SSIDs and password, and even set their security and channels configuration separately, which is a huge plus in my opinion. You also have an option to configure MLO network with all network bands combined or choose different combinations to your liking. There are all great options in the TP-Link Deco app for general or advanced users. Let's do the final summary. TP-Link Deco B95, B33000 Quad Band Wi-Fi 7 Mesh System is a new king. The Wi-Fi 7 Mesh System offers the fastest Wi-Fi speeds over 5,000 square feet in our test. We were able to get the best possible speeds in every corner of the house and even in the garage beating all previous Wi-Fi 7 Mesh Systems. Also, the MLO Speed Boost is amazing if you have MLO-capable devices and it makes a tremendous difference in speed and latency. The Wi-Fi 7 mesh is equipped with the best possible port options in the industry with multiple 10 GBE and 2.5 GBE ports, so you can take full advantage of the fastest internet speeds offered by any internet service provider. Also, it comes in three unit and two unit pack. So if you in the market for new Wi-Fi 7 mesh system or Wi-Fi router and want the best and willing to pay the premium, then TP-Link Deco B 95B30,000 quad band Wi-Fi. Seven mesh system is for you. Let me know what you think of the review in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.